Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So recently we did a giveaway on the channel and I gave away to a lucky viewer a Retivis RT8. And I didn't have one myself at the time, so I've actually got hold of one and decided to give it a try. Um, so I thought I'd do this video for you guys today. So this is the new IP67 waterproof and dustproof and drop resistant DMR digital two-way radio with GPS from Retivis. It's quite a mouthful, but this radio is quite, um, packs quite a lot of punch. So as I said, I didn't have one of these, so I decided to get one and add it to the collection and um, share my findings with you. So just some of the top line features of this radio, as I say, it is DMR and analog, so it works on either VHF or UHF, it's single band, um, so I've got the UHF version, but Retivis do do a VHF version as well. It has an output power of one watt at low power and five watts at high power. It has a thousand channels, and the frequency range for VHF is 136 to 174 megahertz, and for the UHF model, it's 400 to 480 megahertz, so well within the two meters and 70 centimeter bands. Uh, as I said, it's IP67 waterproof, uh, dustproof and drop resistant, and that means it will survive a meter deep in water for around an hour. Not that you'd wanna leave it in there for that long. So the RT8 is perfect for amateur or commercial use. You can program it from the keypad, which is great for when you're out in the field, uh, when you need to make quick changes to the code plug that you've put inside your radio. And it just makes programming a little bit more accessible for those who don't want to um, get involved with code plugs and programming cables and things like that. So um, that's a, a big tick in the box. It does support firmware updates, um, so you get the latest features and improvements via firmware updates, which are available from the Retivist website. Um, it has all the usual things like uh, kill and activate for DMR, uh, GPS, it sends messages over DMR, and it has CTCSS and DCS for the analog side of things. Uh, and it has private call, group call, and all call in digital mode. So very, very similar to a lot of the other DMR radios out there. Um, in the package, you get obviously one DMR radio, you get a lithium ion battery, you get a power adapter and a charger base, a belt clip, a waterproof earpiece, a high gain antenna, a short antenna, and a user manual. Now, this doesn't come with a programming cable, and uh, there's a specific cable that you need to use for this radio. It's the same as the Retivis RT3S cable. So if you look on the website for this radio, the link's in the description, you'll see um, the stock number for the programming cable you'd need to order with this. So if we look at the radio itself, you can see we've got uh, two programmable buttons on the side there. Uh, the PTT is in the middle of them, so you can program those up in the software to do specific functions. Um, the PTT and all these buttons are all sealed by a rubber gasket because of the IP67 rating. On the front, we've got the full uh, keypad, which a lot of these radios have, and we've got the little colour screen as well, and the speakers on the front. On the right-hand side, we've got a speaker mic port. Now, this is the sort of two-pin port, uh, Kenwood style, um, but as I say, these radios do have their own chip for programming cables, so just bear that in mind. And then on the back, we've got the battery, and you can just see uh, inside the battery compartment there, we've just got some information about the radio. You can see that the output is five watts, and then the battery there is a 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp hour battery. And again, this is all sealed uh, with a rubber gasket to keep water out. And the battery just slides into place like so, and then locks with the clasp at the bottom. So on the top, you can see we've got the SMA female adapter there. So uh, this is where the antenna goes. And as I say, the package includes two antennas. Um, we've got a uh, channel select knob on the top, and we've also got the volume and on off knob. And again, everything is sealed with rubber gaskets to stop water getting in. And on the back, we've got the battery charger contacts for where it drops into the cradle. And we've got the two holes there for the belt clip. Okay, so if we switch the radio on and we go through the menus, again, very, very similar to a lot of the other Retivist DMR radios I've covered, so I'm just gonna go through these in top line detail. So if we click on menu there, you can see that brings up the uh, menu settings. We've got contacts, so you can go through your contact list, you can add a new contact, or you can manually dial a contact. We've got scan, so you can go in and to, um, change your scan settings on there, you can also do that in the software. We've got zone, which allows you to access the different zones that you've got in the radio, as you can see, I've got a few programmed in here. We've got messages because you can send messages over DMR. So we've got the inbox, write, uh, quick text, which you can pre-assign in the programming software and you can look at what you've sent and received. We've got the call log. So other radios that um, speak to you on yours will be logged in there. We've got utilities. So this is where the radio settings are. So we've got talk around settings, uh, tones and alerts. That's like keypad tones, power level, the backlight, squelch, the intro screen. So what you want it to say when you turn the radio on, keypad lock, language, 
LED indicator, so you can keep that off. We've got Vox, password protect, clock, and mode, so you can select between channel mode and memory mode there. And if we just go back to radio info, you can see we've got my number, where you put your DMR number in, and you can just see which firmware option we've got there. So should you want to update the firmware, you can check what you've got. And then here's the bit where you program the radio. So as you can see, you can put in your receive and transmit frequencies. You can edit the channel name. You can turn the timeout timer on and off. You've got CTCSS and DCS tones, color code, repeater slot, TX contact, group list, and that's it. That's everything you need in there to program the radio up manually from the front. So quite simple on the menu side of things, guys. There's nothing uh, different than a lot of the other DMR radios I've covered on this channel, but I just thought I'd show you that um, in a little bit of detail. Okay, so the programming software, if you go to the Retivis website, which the link will be in the description, you can download the programming software for all of their radios. Uh, the RT8 is in there. We've got the normal version, the GPS version, and then the firmware updates as well. So it's always a good idea to check these, and you can just download and install these as and when. Now the programming software, again, um, similar to going through the menus, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail because most of these programming software um, packages are pretty much the same, give or take a few um, little features and options. Uh, one thing I did notice in this is that this time you can't import um, CSV files, but that may change in the future, but it's very, very simple to program these radios once you actually get your head around it. So it's worth um, just doing your homework and then sitting down and really uh, getting into the programming. And once you, once you start, it doesn't take long to program the radio up at all. So we are going to do some testing in another video, but what I'm going to do now is put a couple of calls out on DMR on the network and see if we can make a contact. And it'll just give you a bit of an idea of how the radio um, transmits and receives. And um, it's just a good way of making sure we've got the, the co-plug set up right and all the settings set up. So uh, we'll put a few calls out on 235 and see what we get back. M3, HHY, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee, listening 235. 5GB 7MN for any calls and standing by. Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee. Anybody around for a radio report? 2E0MTV to M3HHY. I can hear you loud and clear on 235. Yep, no worries. I think that was 2E0MPV. Uh, apologies if I got that wrong. Uh, the name's Lewis, Lima Echo Whiskey, India Sierra, and the location is Manchester. Well, Stockport, just outside of Manchester. So I uh, hope you're uh, you're okay. Hope you had a good weekend. I'm just um, testing the Retivis RT8 the DMR handset, well, obviously. <laughs> so we'll just seeing how well it's uh, it's working. It seems to be okay anyway. Uh, back to you, M3HHY. Nice to hear from you this evening, Lewis. Um, all well here. Just wrapping up my daughter's first birthday presents and her degree course on the radio. Um, she's really enjoying it. Really enjoying the radio. Um, just wondering if you can send me a message. Uh, the name here is Vic, and I'm located in Folkestone in Kent. Back to you, 2E0, November Papa Victor. Yeah, M3HHY returning. No worries, Vic. Well, good to speak to you for the first time. Um, okay on the uh, the presents as well. Well, uh, happy birthday to the little one. I'm um, sure that'll be a, be a nice day, uh, the first birthday. So, brilliant. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not going to hold it too long, because like I, I just put, thought I'd put a few calls out over the radio just to test this uh, test this one out and see how well it's working. It's uh, it's mainly just to test the code plug. I've put the code plug in properly, because they can be a bit of a minefield, can't they? But, uh, yeah, so you're sounding good this end as well. I wonder what radio you're using, Vic. Uh, back to you, M3HHY. Just using a TYT MD 380. And going through the local repeaters, we've got a couple here in Folkestone DMR, so it's not too bad. And yeah, you're sounding great, loud and clear over here, not too much. I'm just um, running, see what's into the local repeater, no hot slots here. Back to you, Lewis. Yep, no worries, Vic. Well, um, there's a little bit of packet loss uh, on you. I think it might be, uh, I don't know whether it's your end or mine, but you're fully readable anyway um, for the most part. But yeah, it's, uh, it's good, really, uh, really enjoy DMR sometimes, it's nice when the when the local bands are quiet around 2 and 70 to get over on the DMR side of things and um, work people a little bit further afield, so yeah, all good stuff. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll let you go, carry on wrapping up the presents, but happy birthday to the little one, and I'll uh, say 7-3, cheers for coming back to the call, Vic, and we'll catch you further down, M3HHY. M3HHY, testing um, talk group 9990 GB7MN, M3HHY, testing the Retivis RT8 on the echo test. M3HHY 
I'm trying to change why just in the rest of his arm. Uh, Mike Zero, what's the golf golf M3 HHY? You on frequency, Chris? I'm um, HHY, you on M0GG. M0GG, M3 HHY, evening, Chris. I was getting you sort of in and out on the simplex side of things, but I suppose there's a few miles between us, isn't there, really? And it's all town, it's all built up, so uh, yeah, but how are you doing? I'm just on the Retivis RT8. Uh, it's a GB7MN. Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, I had a good weekend, thanks, Lewis. Uh, he said, just in the days, just watching these planes. I don't know where that one's going. I think I might have just took off. I think we've taken off from a different run away to the armour. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I had a good weekend, thanks, mate. Yeah. Uh, hope you've had a good one as well. M3 HHY. M0 or 3 3. M3HHY turn, I worked all weekend Chris, so yeah, it's been a bit of a rubbish one to be honest. So I've just got home now, Sunday night, and I'm just putting a video together, so you're the guinea pig again if you don't mind. I uh, know you never mind, um, but yeah, just on the, on this little new Retivis model, so I wonder how it's sounding. I think you're, you're on your Motorola again, you're sounding uh, really good as always anyway. Are you in work tomorrow? Uh, M0GG M3HHY. Yeah, okay, Lewis, yeah, I'm on my face 600 at the moment. Just uh, putting a new battery in, fully charged. And I'm in work tomorrow, yeah. Um, not looking forward to it, to be honest. It's been a bit quiet, uh, Christmas time coming and whatnot. People are saving all the money. So the days are going quite long, but it's one of them, isn't it? Still got going. Now, I'm going to speak, Lewis, so I've got a few things to do here, but uh, <coughs> I, hope the, uh, I hope it's been okay for you. Sounding good. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, thanks for coming on anyway. Appreciate it. We'll catch you further down. I know it works not too bad for you tomorrow. 73 for now, M3HHY. Yeah, 73 is Lewis. Okay, guys, so um, as you can see, not a bad little radio there from Retivis, the RT8. I know a lot of people in the giveaway said that they wanted to win this, and uh, I'm certainly glad I picked one up. It's a really uh, nice, chunky, solid radio, and that IP67 um, just gives it the edge over a lot of others. I mean, you can take it out in the in the in the wind and rain, and it's not going to get uh, damaged by water, and it will survive a, a moderate drop as well. So yeah, we are going to do some more testing with this in another video. I'll go up to the local hill and put a few calls out and uh, things like that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you want to get this radio, the link is in the description, along with the other links I said I'd put in there. Uh, and my social media links and all that's left to say is 73 thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one cheers